Don't worry. I know that the title mentions source code, but we're going to make this as simple as possible. It's going to be a surface level look at how to build Unreal Engine from source code. Thanks to Aiden Wilson and Ali3D for all of their help and wisdom. Uh, Aiden Wilson has a brilliant video which goes into a bit more detail than mine. You can find it here. Big notice up front, this journey, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. There are hurdles to jump over that I've never had to deal with before. For example, I needed to debug some HLSL code in one of the engine supplied materials just so I could render out a video. I'm not saying that you're going to have to do that. And it's impossible for me to predict what you might run into because the code is changing every day. Epic is at the point in its release schedule where it's, it's, it's locking down everything ready for a wide release. So there's every chance that you might get some code that doesn't compile correctly or has some other error that I don't know about. With that disclaimer out of the way, you'll need a few things. Visual Studio Community Edition. You can download it, and then when you install it, just tick all of the games and C++-y stuff that you can find. Aiden's video also sort of steps through which ones he's ticked. Uh, you will also need a GitHub account, an Epic Games account, which I assume you have if you've downloaded Unreal Engine, and you'll need a bunch of hard drive space. Like, uh, pff, half a terabyte? I mean, why not a full terabyte just for safety? You'll need a lot. I've also used GitHub's desktop app, mainly because that's how I learned and it allows you to update things a little bit more easily. But I know that you can actually just download the code as a zip and uh, pretty much you can follow all the instructions that come after you clone the repository in this video. So one of the cool things about Unreal Engine is that you can view its source code and you can see it here on their GitHub, GitHub slash Epic Games slash Unreal Engine. Now, you might not be able to view this because you haven't logged in yet, um, which would give you a 404, but also you'll need to have your GitHub account linked to your Epic Games account. Now, the way to do that is on a page handily named Accessing Unreal Engine Source Code on GitHub. And uh, I won't go through all the steps here, but if you follow that, that will authorize you to be able to view and download Unreal Source Code. As I mentioned before, you can just download zip from here, uh, but we're going to use the GitHub desktop app. Now, once you've downloaded GitHub desktop onto your computer uh, and install it for the first time, you'll be asked to log in. After you've logged in, you can go file, clone repository. And if you scroll down, you'll see that you also have Epic Games's repositories linked. You can choose Epic Games slash Unreal Engine you choose where to put it, and then you click clone. I've already done that for the sake of time. So you will need to wait until it's fully downloaded. Then you'll be able to choose what branch you wanna be on. There are a bunch here, but for our purposes, we're just looking at the 5.4 branch. Now, once you selected that, uh, you can click pull origin, uh, which should be done automatically. Uh, but if it's not, just click that there. And all it's doing is really just copying files from the web into the folder that you specified at the start when you said where you wanted the clone repository to go. We're actually gonna navigate to there now. I put it onto the desktop in a folder called Git, and you can see inside there, it's cloned the repository into Unreal Engine. And now there are three pretty simple steps. First of all, run the setup.bat file. This will download prerequisites, dependencies, all the good things a growing Unreal Editor needs. Secondly, you'll want to run the generate project files.bat. That's actually going to generate the Visual Studio solution file that will allow you to build this code base into an executable. And after you've run that, you'll actually get this ue5.slm file. And if you double click on that, it's going to load up inside Microsoft Visual Studio. First time you do it, it'll take ages. Now. If I can confide in you, I don't know how any of this works. This is a foreign land and I understand nothing. The one thing I do know is that there should be a window called Solution Explorer somewhere on the page. If it's not, I have seen it in the view menu here. All you need to do is come up to where it says Solution UE5, right click on Solution UE5 and click Build Solution. Uh, Visual Studio might have a little pop-up saying that it's missing some libraries, but it will give you the option to install them, so I recommend you do that. Now, once the solution is built, you can go back into this same folder and you'll find a folder called Engine. Then inside there, you can click on Binaries, Win64, and scroll down until you find 
unrealeditor.exe. Double click on it and then you can start waiting for all of the new shaders to compile and all of the new toys that you can play with. Was all of this bother worth it? Tune in next time as we explore more of the features of Unreal Engine 5.4.